Today, the mayor of Johannesburg, Herman Mashaba, formally announced his resignation, following through on the promise that he made to fellow DA members that if Helen Ziller won the vote for the powerful federal council chairperson position, he would go. I cannot reconcile myself with a group of people who believe that race is relevant in the discussion of inequality and poverty in South Africa in 2019. <coughs> I cannot reconcile myself with people who do not see that South Africa is more unequal today than it was in 1994. I cannot reconcile myself with people who fail to realize that we have a patriotic duty to unseat the ANC and save our country before it is too late. With this grouping of people succeeding in their efforts to take over the DA, I have no doubt whatsoever that they will move to collapse these governance arrangements. At the heart of the matter will be the proper agenda that this multi-party that uh, represent executed. I've stood in front of halls filled with upper income Johannesburg residents, without exception, understand the need to address the unsustainable inequality in our country. Despite this, some members of the DA caucus in Johannesburg have suggested that we prioritize the needs of suburban residents above providing dignity to those forgotten people who remain without basic services 25 years after the end of apartheid. It is clear to me that in the same way that the review conclusions were determined from day one, any process of reviewing this coalition arrangement is similarly predetermined. I say this with certainty because I've had this to lead the seven-way minority government without a solid mandate from the DA for the past three years. From the very first day I took office, this coalition arrangement has been undermined, criticized, and rendered nearly impossible. In every way, the DA, the DA has been the most difficult coalition partner in this arrangement. Despite the fact that coalition survive on consultation, shared programs and recognizing the contribution of each member, the DA has criticized and questioned my approach. Despite the DA only winning 38% of the vote in 2016, elements in the party, some, have expected me to govern arrogantly as if I have an outright majority. I have to deal with people who draw the artificial distinctions between service delivery in formal settlements and suburbs, and, and suburbs as a binary, either or type approach. I've had to deal with individuals who'd rather spend more time on cutting grass than on fixing our broken and aging infrastructure with threatened disaster in our city. I have to deal with people who do not want me to implement the insourcing program that has benefited over 7,000 families and contain contractual costs merely because it was not DA policy. My response to the DA was, then make it your policy. Unfortunately, it is these individuals we have triumphed at yesterday's Federal Council meeting. That is why I have no doubt whatsoever that the collapse of this governance arrangement is a foregone conclusion. It is not in my nature to wait for people to push me. I have lived my life on my terms. It is for this reason that I've called this press conference today to announce my resignation from the DA uh, Democratic Alliance effective 27th November 2019. The mayor's resignation comes at a time when he had initiated numerous projects like Weam Tetwa, Aretsebetseng, and unlocking massive regeneration of the inner city. This with the need to create residential space and new confidence to attract business back into the city centre. The question now is, what do the people of Johannesburg have to say about the mayor's resignation? To be honest, I might not be a DA leader or under a DA, but I'm very disappointed because he did a lot and he was still doing a lot. Even though we don't see it, but to be honest, I see each and everything that's happening around Jobek. Jobek is becoming clean each and every day. He was doing a lot. We just needed to give him time and understanding. But I'm disappointed. It's, it's politics at the end of the day. Um, I would think, you know, with this uh, co coalition's joint uh, uh, parties. It makes decisions not so easy. Well, the mayor of the city of Joburg, he really, really did a good job in what he was doing. He did actually put jobs into place where there wasn't jobs. He actually did a lot. Look at the bridge that has actually been completed now for the fourth. 
Newsreel Films, a subsidiary of Video News Services 24-7 and Brand TV Media Network, the company that brings you Joburg Today TV, has over the past three years been working on a documentary about the first DA-aligned mayor to run the city of Johannesburg. The release date will soon be announced. Let's take a quick look, though, now at what you can expect. It was always a city of immigrants. They came wave after wave from Europe, India, the internally displaced after the South African War and many other places. It quickly grew from a mining town to the economic powerhouse of Africa. After democracy in 1994, Johannesburg was seen as a key driver of the economic reformation in South Africa. A new wave of immigrants arrived, this time from the continent, all in search of economic opportunity. The new ANC City Council faced serious challenges. Not only did they have to manage the new immigrants, they also had to embark on a long process to address the spatial planning of the apartheid era. Johannesburg was a city divided into rich white areas and poor black areas, all separated by distance. This had to change. Some believe that the ANC-led council did a good job, whilst others thought that they failed. Ultimately, citizens had the last say. In 2016, the ANC lost control of the Johannesburg Metro to the Democratic Alliance. The DA appointed Herman Mashaba, a legendary and very successful businessman, as the new mayor. This is the right one. I can't afford to make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and the votes cast is as follows. 144. 